Hi guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video I'm going to attempt to answer the question of what is the easiest way to make money online and by easiest I'm also talking about the quickest as well. So I'm going to maybe shine some light on that for you so you can start making money quickly and also easy which I'm sure a lot of you want. So before we dive into that, it really helps out the channel if you drop a like on this video, hit subscribe and turn on that bell. If you wanna be updated with new videos like this coming out all the time, they're gonna help you to find success online. So I've made videos over the last week or so talking about the different methods, uh, different fundamental methods there are to making money online. Uh, but to get to the fastest one, the easiest one, I do strongly believe that that is affiliate and content marketing. Now affiliate content marketing is basically you find products that have affiliate programs uh, that give you a commission, preferably you want a 50% commission, and then they give you a link, and if anybody clicks that link, uh, and buys through your link, then you are automatically paid that commission by the mechanism, by the platform that you're using. So a couple of platforms you might have heard of are ClickBank, Gumroad, Warrior Plus, JVZoo, um, Pay Kickstart. There's actually a, quite a bunch, and or also Amazon, and also different companies. Um, they also have their own affiliate programs as well. So the first thing you're gonna need is an affiliate link of a product that you like. Now I would recommend um, deciding what niche you're into, looking for influencers in that niche uh, because there are influencers in every niche, trying to track down products that people have uh, either coming out or products that they're always promoting and try and find an affiliate program uh, where you can promote that product. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is a little bit of digging and you know find some kind of affiliate program attached to a product uh, or an influencer uh, in a topic that you like, that you uh, wanna produce content in or about. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna produce content and you're going to essentially review that product. You can do that in written form, in which case I'd recommend doing it on a blog if you have one. You can do it on Medium if you don't have a blog. But my uh, favorite is YouTube. The reason for that is it's gonna rank immediately. Blog content, it can actually take uh, you know one or two weeks for Google to actually you know start listing it on Google search so you can get traffic. On YouTube, it's gonna rank immediately. So you have a product and you now have a platform where you can talk about and review that product. Now there are three ways to review content. One, you review the content and say it's super amazing and it's really, really good. And your objective there is to not really be honest, uh, but to just realize that there are people out there looking for reviews about this product and they're just looking at review videos because they need that last push and you're gonna be that last push and you're gonna be saying like, yeah, look, I've used this, it's really great. Click the link in the description and I'll give you a bonus option. I'll give you bonuses um, or whatever if you click that link and uh, really you're just pushing them over the finish line and you're getting the commission by being for the product. The second way is you're being against the product. So you're saying this product is pure trash um, and you're finding a product that you actually do like that is better and you're redirecting people to that. That can be a little bit more difficult because people who are kind of focused and looking for that final push, it does require a little bit more effort to change people's mind. It's just psychologically how humans are. They're kind of in one direction and if you try to swerve them off into another direction, even if it's better for them, it can just mentally be a little bit too much. Only like the smart people actually can realize, stop in their tracks, be humble and go, okay, hold on, maybe this guy's right. Maybe I will check this out. So the traffic is there, but you're stopping them and you're saying, no, don't go with this, go with this, it's much better. The third one, and this is my favorite one, is to just be honest. Uh, I believe whether you are giving people the final push, like the first way, or redirecting people like the second way, um, I believe if you're just honest, um, you're gonna resonate more with the audience no matter what you want them to do. So let's say you are for the product, then you do say that you are for the product, but talk about the pros and cons to it as well. If you are trying to redirect the traffic to another product, then also be honest about that product because there is, people do make the mistake of trashing a product so much that they can come across as like, having an ax to grind and people watching, they might be like, well, why is this guy so against this product? And so for that one, maybe he's got his own agenda as well. So if you're just sort of honest 
and you say like, look, this is the good side, this is the bad side, um, this is what I've done, and it does help by being honest if you've used the product. This is what I've done, and these are the results I had. I feel like this is really the best way to go about it. You can resonate with the audience better and build trust and guide them, hopefully, uh, you know, if you have any morals, uh, hopefully to the better option. The next part is a little bit complicated. It's kind of setting up a funnel. So um, a funnel is really there to capture uh, your audience and also deliver to that audience. So an example of a basic funnel would be you create a video about a product. Maybe it's called Super Yoga, right? And you, you promote this product, you review Super Yoga Review, you review it. And then in your description, you point people to the description to your link and rather than have your link uh, directly, your affiliate link directly to make the sale, maybe you have a link to a landing page that says put your email in here and I'll send you like this bonus PDF before you go off to the sales page. And what that does is it enables you to give them something to, for free. Uh, it also allows you to get them in your list before they then go onto the sales page and then purchase. So rather than they just click your link and buy and you don't know who they are, um, they, click that, they click your link, enter their email, then go and buy. Then if they decide to maybe not buy at checkout, you still have their email address. You can kind of like encourage them more uh, on the back end email funnel. So then when you get that email, you can set something up in, for example, Mooseend, which is an autoresponder where you automatically, where you create an, a funnel. And what happens is every time someone is added to that list, they'll be sent an email going, hey, did you buy that product in the end? Let me know how it went. Let me know if you need a hand. If you didn't buy it, you know, here's the link again you know, I'd really encourage you to give it a chance and check it out. And then your affiliate link is also in the email as well. So it just helps you to not lose, uh, you know, audiences. This is something you don't have to do on a lot of platforms. Sometimes if they buy through your link, it will send like Gumroad as an example. It just sends you an email saying this person from this email address has bought this and you can just add them to your list anyway. So it depends on the platform, but creating some kind of funnel is always a good idea. So just to recap, you need a product to promote, you need a platform to produce content to create a review, you need to decide on the content what kind of review you're gonna do. I recommend doing an honest review, giving the pros and cons what you recommend and why and the results you've gotten. Then I recommend setting up some kind of funnel on the background and I believe putting this together in the right way, it will probably take you a couple of hours but you can potentially make money doing this you know, within a couple of hours. It's probably the only way or at least the quickest and easiest way and the best part, it doesn't cost you any money like Ecom will, throwing money into ads or any of that kind of stuff. Now, if you want a little bit of help, I do have a special link for you in the description. If you click on that, it's gonna take you through to uh, the Silver Spoon Accelerator Program. So the Accelerator Program is a compact version of my flagship Silver Spoon uh, Program. And what this does is it just packs it down and it takes you really through the steps that I just gave you. So first it will give you a product already so you don't have to do that initial research and to find a product. Then I will give you the different options for what platform to use. So if you're using YouTube, I'm gonna help you to tweak your videos so they rank. If you're using blog, I'm gonna teach you how to write blogs that have good SEO that rank. I'm gonna teach you how to write the reviews, the call to actions, all that kind of stuff. After that, I'm gonna also teach you how to set up a basic funnel which ties into your content. And finally, I go into a really great traffic method that is gonna to get tons of people on your content. So, you know, the more traffic you get, the more sales you make. So if this video has helped you and you can go away and kind of implement what I've just showed you, then best of luck go ahead, do it. If you need a little bit more help on all of those steps, I do have something for you in the description. Uh, you can check that out. Also, don't forget to join the community if you have any questions as well. There's a link to that in the description as well, my Telegram group. I'm always in there, very active. You can ask me any questions you want. I'll see you in there. Otherwise, I hope you found value in this. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you next time. Take care.